Alright. Why is my shit not working? Alright. So we finally got that to work. Um, hold on. Alright. So, I'm in Pwnage, and this is probably going to be my first playthrough video I'm making. And it's going to be of this game, Psychonauts. So, have we already watched the... I think we have, haven't we? I guess I haven't... Sl hmm. How would I get around to seeing the, uh... The cr well, the intro thing. Or... I guess it's probably... Cause there's like a whole intro thing where he goes in there or whatnot. Hey, I can collect these big ones, maybe. No, I've never been on the bottom of this brin. Okay, I don't think I have any completed games here. Okay, here, here we go. I'll stick what. Six hundred miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damning, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Who is this? Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Modello. Whoa. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! <laughs> My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. It's fucking Invader uh, Zim, dude. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, 
Please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of the free fuck? thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Fucking Charisma 100 here. Get that soldier a bunk. Oh, yeah, Oleander. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the psychonaut. The psychonaut. And, and, and then and you'll you make their, their heads, heads explode? <laughs> no. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. All right, this is the intro that I originally wanted to show. The other game I logged into, we were finding a bed. I'm gonna sleep above Dogen. Um. Yeah, whatever. I'm okay with this. Just, uh, there we go. down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! So yeah, I've uh, beat this game twice, like once when it came out like over 10 years ago, back when I was a wee lad. And then, uh, Okay, Last week, quick eye exam before maybe we two start. weeks ago, huh? I was streaming this with will. my really shit internet, uh, actually. Wow, what's that? Before I got fiber. Now look up for me if you and, uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm not gonna be going for 100% like I was on my first playthrough. I'm just gonna kind of like loose. go for the main storyline. You can put them together Can't really to speed run, but that's what I'm gonna try and go for. But you have to buy a psi core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before so you yeah, know it, Psychonauts 2 is coming out in like four days, powers. I think. Stuff yeah, four days from now. You could so, and then best I get all this shit done now. Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. You don't want to be late for bed. 
basic braining. Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for basic braining. My first playthrough, I went to, around this whole place and like talked to people and like collected all the collectibles. One time, but uh, kid was late for basic just gonna braining, get up there. Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue, but the kid had just drank a six pack of soda. And this so guy sounds so Canadian. Up, he exploded. <laughs> I think I accidentally skipped the, the cutscene by pressing B. I mean, that's probably what speedrunners do, but I'll let you guys watch this shit. I just skipped a cutscene where this kid was getting bullied by uh, Bobby. I'm ready, sir. Well then, you're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. Alright, I guess I'll just do basic branding for this so, first episode. This is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office it's a recruiting office kids and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world being a psychonaut it's about fighting a war for mental freedom are you ready to face torture insanity and death because this is your last chance to chicken out oh me sir I'd like to chicken out please too late soldier but you said there's only one way out of here fighting I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Alright. Yo! Ah, that's what I- Charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? The kid cat. just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if That's you don't get play. moving right now. I'll give that to the writers. You're like my love hill in January with crutches. Yeah, it's a figment. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. Get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. Hey, who are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. It's literally like right over here. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. I'm all right. I just want to get through the level. So yeah, my uh, fucking fiber went out, so... Get a, re a replacement and repairman uh, coming in. Oh, shit. I think I was supposed to hit that, or no? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I was like, I need something to do to like fucking kill the time, so I was like, well, let's make a playthrough. I could probably do it in a day. Just Looks segment like all these videos. Test. More videos, more views. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby jumped his foot. That's what. Yes. 
stupid new kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. But bacon. I it's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Alright, I'm hopping on one of these. Or is there something I climb on? Okay, that works. Alright. I remember spending a few minutes here just trying to get like all the figments. I, like on my first playthrough on the very scuffed stream, uh, it took me a very long time to get through the game because like I was getting all the side objective things. Not today. I think I could beat the game in one day and get all the episodes done and then I'll just like uh, pop them out every few days. So I have some extra content to upload. You're like molasses going uphill in January with uh. crushes. Why would you say your that? Your name, Joey. No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? Joey Ramon. You. You're you. talking too slow. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Whoa. Like that. I mean this flag thing. Oh, yeah. Probably just missed like 30, 40 figments there. That also saved me like God knows hey, how many times. How much Rez time I mean? Here. Probably like 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes maybe. I remember we my first playthrough, I was down. on this level for like almost an hour or something. Like, I was trying 100% everything. Something to hide. 
I'll hit it just if, if they're like not out of the way. I'll hit these guys depending on what level. I'm. Have a look at them. So he's conquering a war like total badass Rambo. Totally believable. Helping uh, the Afghans and a uh, dictator by the end. Okay. Somehow ends up being like a gym teacher at the summer camp. Believable. <laughs> I've never hit that thing before, actually. Oh, shit. Where am I going to? Is there another thing that I'm supposed to go to? Like, hi, fine. Oh, there's a... Okay. Is the game broken? Why is there a... Am I supposed to hit that? Oh, okay, I see, I see it. Set set radio. Oh, missed that. It's all right. You can grab poles like that and swing on. It's all about upper body strength, you know. Oh. Ah. Wait, it might. Oh. It's a web thing. Uh, I can get one later on. I'm I'm gonna have to actually get it actually, because there's gonna be some levels where I need to get the web duster thing. It's kind of shit. I'll take that. Okay, I guess I won't. Am I jumping over? Oh, okay. okay. bad habit of skipping the milk more minutes into a video if I watch the, the cutscenes. Hey kid, I think I see a silver 
for a dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? Ha, sucker! See you at the bottom! done I think that might be the level no there's still like a couple more a couple more rooms Ugh. of course this one I'm not gonna tr uh, I mean I skip what that guy had to say again I have a bad habit of pressing B I went too quick. I'm at the end now. Yeah. Alright, that'll be the first episode here. We find a blueprint right and there, Oleander son. doesn't want us to see it. Now just what in the Sam Hill foreshadowing. You're doing in there. Very was foreshadowing. For a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Does it do anything? Uh-oh. I think it's just the middle one, right? Yeah. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Okay, then. And I guess we'll call it that. Oh, after happy. this here. You're in trouble now. After this cutscene. ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. Yeah, just I'd smoke like in front of the children. For some advanced training. I'm for it. Ooh. Raz the Spaz is going to be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Yeah, where is it? I wonder. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Alright. That is where we will leave episode one at. I will see you guys again in five minutes.